Okay, it's June 6, 2023, as you can see there on the phone. And I'm just going to wing it here. <coughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, back May 31, I, in Facebook, I uh, repaired the this one here, which you can't quite see. And y'all can't see it on there. I see I started the YouTube thing as well. So, what do I want to show? Um, no, let's go back to Facebook. In Facebook, so there's... Uh, in Facebook, it's 99 four day repaired May of May 31. And scrolling up, here's the um, June 1. I had a TRC 918 six years ago. I, I made a video about that, about how this one doesn't work or how it, how I got it or how anyway. And there's that, there's that. And then scrolling up to where? Uh, well no, we don't want to okay. So here's my okay, here's my YouTube channel. And uh, four days ago, I made a video about the Lasonic TRC 918 preview right there. And then uh, two weeks ago, I had both of these together, the 918 and the Sanyo M9940. And that was a preview of the, both of those together, how well they did not work. So now I have them together, but now what I want to do is a brief little history here. I searched in eBay for the Lasonic TRC 918, and I found these six models here and I just want to show you that this one is um, $100 and $45 shipping and uh, let's see here, get the keyboard and um, let's see here. This one's missing the <laughs> that key altogether. It's in sad shape. They want, like I said, $100, whatever. So there it is, missing the antenna. It's got the battery back. Now this one here is $170 plus $50 shipping and so this um, What's, okay, that's missing the cap covers and such, and doesn't have the battery uh, cover whatsoever, right? Then here's the same guy, this, um, what's he selling this one for? This is, um, I think, the same model. Yeah, no battery cover, same model, but he's selling it differently. So, wait. So, that one's 170 and 50, and this one is 100, whatever. And then here is uh, a different person. He wants $350 plus $100 shipping. This is a different, slightly different model with different uh, tweeter grills, and it's in no no antennas whatsoever. Okay, and um, it does have the battery cover, right? So, and it's just got issues and looks like that. Then here is the other one, $350, and it's from a different seller as well, and it's got. The same grills is what I have. Okay, this one's missing the uh, switch, the cap covers for that, and this one does have the battery cover, I think. Let's see here. Was that it? Well, yeah, it does have the battery cover. So, but I want to go back to this here. This is parts only, parts only, parts only, parts only, uh, pre-owned and parts only. So none of these really work all that great. All right. So that's the history of that. And that's that. So now, what I want to do is I want to go back to the beginning of my pictures. Okay, so here's the beginning of my pictures that I took. I took 82 pictures. I didn't have to take quite so many, but I took that many. So, here are the front of this model as I got it. Okay, looks like that. This is the top. It looks like that. I didn't, when I got this, I didn't flip through all these uh, buttons and switches and everything. I just basically tried to make it play the cassette radio and that was it. I didn't go any further. Okay. Um, well, I'll get to that. There's the uh, input end. Okay, this has a funnel input, line in and line out for your standard, and then it's got your uh, microphone jacks and your external speakers and a full size headphone. Okay. And that's a close up picture of that. Okay, great. That's the back of it. That's the back. And then this has got the antennas are messed up on it. Okay. One is loose, but it does. Oh wait, this one's missing the tip. This one's correct. All right, but it's got it's got some kind of tip. It is the right length and everything. But anyway, that's the the you know the thing there. It's got an AC/DC switch and it's got a, a a DC input for 12 volts. It takes 8D batteries. Okay. There's a battery compartment and battery cover. All right. 
And here's the uh, tuning in with the fine tuning knob for shortwave. Okay, here's the bottom. Here's the okay. Now this is missing the um, this is missing the that the uh, the the reset button for the tape counter, but the tape counter does work. All right. And here's just a a picture of the front. I don't know why. I just well showing how that all these are different heights and such. Okay. All right, and then here it is, the screws, how the screws come out, takes a long screw there and there, and then short screws all the way around, it takes eight screws total. Okay, that's the screw in the, there. Cracking it open, okay. Take a picture of where the antenna wires go. This is the power leads, very, very good to know, and a long time ago I needed, uh, anyway. And then there's just a nice picture now. This has got three tabs here. This third tab is not an antenna. Okay, the only the top two are, not the third one down. So plug it up there, you won't get any antenna sound. Or antenna working, whatever. Okay. Here's just a, a complete inside the back cover. And here's a closer end of, of the uh, power supply and, and how the wires connect. And then here's just a how the wires connect. Okay. And then another picture along with the uh, speaker wires, how they connect. Okay. And another close-up picture of how the wires connect. On the one I had from way back when, these two were together, which is wrong. They were soldered together. That's why I had an issue with the sound on it from way back, I remember, six years ago. Anyway, so I took a lot of pictures of how these wires connect. This is just a picture of the radio. Nothing to see here, really. <laughs> Picture of the main board and where the screws go. Now, when I took the thing, when I opened this thing up, I found one of these uh, cassette uh, button caps inside the model. So I found that. Um, let's see, well, yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I found that right there. Okay, so. Just letting you know, it actually came inside the model. Okay, so moving forward, there's that. Okay, so where are we? That's just a picture of whatever. Okay, uh, here's a picture of the uh, the speaker, the tweeter. I mean the the woofer. Excuse me, the woofer. That's what the woofer looks like. And this is the inside of the back cover. Just an overall picture. All right. Here's a close-up picture of the power supply. Nothing to see here really, just there it is. Here's a picture of the uh, filter capacitor. It's a 16 volt, 33 micro 3300 microfarads. Okay. Uh, this is just a flash picture of, I don't know what, didn't work out well. Here's another picture of the uh, top cover and everything. And then here's uh, how the um, how the uh, handle goes in. It's got both of those. are They're in good condition. I just like taking it. Wait, what happened? Okay. Wait, go back. I should really use the keyboard. Wait. Okay, so I didn't need to remove this screw. This went to the actual, to the door, uh, the door, well, the, the door uh, spring thing. I didn't need, did not need to remove that screw. Found out later. Just those are screws I took out of okay. And then here I'm lifting up the chassis because this, the radio is on a chassis. Here I'm lifting it up again, taking another picture. And then uh, here I'm removing the chassis and note these here, which are, you think they're okay, but they're not. Okay, and then this is just a picture of the woofer and tweeter and the wires and how they go. Uh, wait, um, this actually has a... Uh, inline uh, capacitor. I didn't make a note of the size. Okay. Um, just a picture of that. P okay, this picture of the motor wires, you have to unsolder them. So I made sure I get, this is a red line, but I, I put a lecture of red on there to make sure I can take a picture of knowing which one's what. Okay, and for the polarity. All right. This is just a picture of everything out. Picture of the cassette deck. The cassette deck only takes one belt. We'll get to that. Uh, this one here moves back and forth on a pendulum effect. Um, anyway, just, 
This is a very important picture to have. You have to take off this screw and that screw to remove this to be able to change the belt. You have to be careful with this thing's on a spring and this is not and it's got washers in between that you have to maintain. This is the old belt that I took out. It was about 13 centimeters and the belt I put in was uh, 12 centimeters. Okay, so and then there it is again. Here I cleaned the, okay, this has two side-by-side -side recording bar switches. I cleaned both of them. That's just showing you that I did that. Okay. Here is the uh, the volume control. All right, and then here's just another picture of the volume control. And, um, you know, you can easily spray the oxid into there once you get it out of there. Okay. You have to use an 11 millimeter uh, socket to remove the bolts holding it. Here I uh, have um, idler tire either tire rubber tires so I changed out the either tire rubber tire okay and then again I'm back to the speakers I had to unsolder them to remove the chassis from the unit here the chassis is removed and here I cleaned I took this off and I cleaned the uh, mixing volume okay and then here I cleaned the speakers and I removed the everything on screws alright so there it is looks like that without Anyway, yes, I took them out and I cleaned it so it's nice and somewhat cleaner. Okay, it's still wet. All right, so then here are these. These are broke, both of them. Okay, here, uh, see how that the pylon is broken. Okay, and the other one's broken. Isn't that amazing? Golly. So what I tried to do is I tried to get some liquid nasal liquid nails that comes in it. Uh, a tube and I tried putting that around those to help gusset them help them stay in place once again this is the uh, picture of the uh, where the speaker wires go with no speaker wires attached just take a picture just because I can again another full picture of everything there okay this is one of the uh, this is which one is this this is the input the line in ex external mic an internal mic switch it's broken uh, the plastic is up inside there it, it snapped off of the base okay um, here I had to get a drill bit and drill it out so I'm just showing you I drilled it out and got that out of there okay and here is where the fateful thing goes it's you can see it's really old plastic brittle and uh, Anyway, this one, this one's also flaky, or not working well. The other, others are okay, but I didn't want to press. Okay. And then here we are getting it back together. We got the speaker wires soldered back on, the motor wires soldered back on. Okay. Now we're, now we're doing line in with the, we're doing line in with the phone. So we got both channels and nothing there, all right? And then we had another picture, well, just trying to get a picture of these, you know, uh, this has got three, that's got four, all right? And then here we got the radio playing, so again, trying to take a picture, well, anyway. So it works. And then what is this? This is just another picture. Okay, I'll just wait. See here, it's got the... Um, FM stereo and tuning. All right, and I think this is on AM. No, it's not. It's still on FM. Okay. Anyway, and then here we have the tape deck playing, and we've got it loud. So as you increase the volume, these go bigger. Okay. And then here is overview of both models together once again, and we're back to the beginning. So now let me get rid of that. Get rid of this. Okay. So now let me uh, wide this one out. Right. Yes, that's my favorite boombox. That's a, a Quasar GX3632. All right, so we'll move this down to here. Moving to YouTube. Let me take the Facebook thing and wide it out because I had it all close up so somebody can see. Who's this? Stephen Glenn Pratt is watching. Bring them on. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, so no, go the other way. There we go. All right, so that's wide out. And we'll just see if we can move the tripod thing down. 
There we go. All right, so that, that should be all right. Okay, so now, briefly, because this video is primarily about the Lasonic, but briefly I just want to show that, okay, here, okay, both of these are running on batteries. I don't have them plugged yet. Okay. Um, this one here is, let's see here, radio. Uh, all right, well, yeah, okay, fine. So there's the radio. Employers who post the job on ZipRecruiter get a quality so, candidate within the first okay. day. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, it's free at ZipRecruiter.com. So, there's the radio. radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com. R-A-D-I-O. ZipRecruiter.com. Slash radio. ZipRecruiter. The smartest okay, way fine. to hire. Kicks. Turn that off. Hit play. Fast forward, not so fast, but oh well, it's old. So, okay, so enough of that, and I'm just going to get my tape out, okay? and let's see, I'll show you just ever so briefly that I'm going to make another video about this model here and about this DIN plug, what I learned about that. So we're just going to put this down here over out the way. All right, now we're going to come over here to this model here. Now I do need to plug it in. All right, so. Because there's one feature I need to show that well here. I've got it. If I turn it on, so there's the radio. And if I hit the where is it? If I hit the light button, oh it does work. Wait. Okay, so it does work on batteries. I didn't know that. I thought it needed the power light to. I thought it needed the. Let's see. Wait. So if I switch the switch in the back, wait. So hold that. Where's the switch? It's back here. Ah! If you turn that off, so the light does work without being on batteries. Great. Okay. Um, Alright, so obviously it's running on batteries, so I'm holding the cord up and it's still playing, right? Okay, so what I want to do next is. Well. That's not necessarily my focus. Now, you more about the. Those players don't have as much so as the guys who left. Yeah. They, they were told by their companies, hey, don't yeah, leave man. because yeah. they are bad. They're bad that's people. Good. You should stay here because we're good. And now the company that said that is taking the money from that. My last comment on this is... better if you raise the antennas, okay? There we go, so. Anyway, so much for that. I'm tired of the radio, so turn that off. Change the tape. Turn it back on, okay? Here, let me flip this. That. That's locked in. That's that. So now if we hit eject, we've taken our tape, which we can play live. Because this is YouTube music from the YouTube audio library. So we hit. for you all right so that's just pretty darn loud right there so that'll get really really loud and have to really scream here um, let's see this will not fast forward very well 
Well, come on, you can do it. Come on, password. All right. Well, rewind is a whole lot better. Okay. Okay. So, and the tape counter does work if you can see that rolling along. Okay. Let you see that briefly. All right. Great. Hit stop. Hit play. Let's go back a bit further. Oh, that's good. That's the end of that song. The beginning of this one. All right. And where's my CD player? Um, where is it? Here it is. Now, see, I was doing this with. I, oh, I was doing it with that though. That's right. Well, wait. Okay, so we have this plugged into the line in. The CD player only goes up to song eight. And this is a Sony. It's old Sony. And wait. That figures. CD-ROM, which should be playing. Well, come on now. What's the matter? Oh, the volume is down. There we go. Okay, so I got a max volume on that. So how do we know the CD is playing? piece of junk. Well.
that's how it plugs in. That's how it's working. I'm using as a Facebook thing, but okay. Won't go in this year. Uh, we'll go into this one. Can't remember these plug things. Yeah, this one. Well, there we go. No, it won't go in. Wait. Pull this away. There we go. Wait this up. Get out of there. Go to here. Come on, get out of there, go to the, where is it? Well, we can play this. is um, maximum volume, right? Now we can crank this up. That's full blast up there. a lot of bass in it. Okay, he doesn't like that digital bass stuff, but it will play. Let's play that. No. Anyway. So it plays that, the radio works. really well like I said the tape counter works there's a tape counter for those who need tape counter but it doesn't have that part it's missing and then uh, let's see where was it? oh yeah here are the parts that come with this thing here are the happy little switch cap covers for the cassette deck here's one <laughs> that could go up here that could go up there and this one to go maybe there, who knows? Maybe, but here they are. But I haven't glued them on, and I'm not sure I want to. But so there are two of them. Okay, so but this one does have the cassette keys and such. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Let me go back to. <laughs>
Oh, that's right. When you turn this thing off, it, it turns off the power to everything. So it turns off the power to the tape deck. Wait. Just, I thought that's funny. piece of plastic that came off of it right there just you know you figure out a way to mount this unplug the battery and then you know flip the switch in the back here right there's the switch right you just like that. Thirty minutes, eighty-two pictures I took to get it to this point. It was very dirty before, but now it's cleaner. It works. It's for sale. Uh, I'll sell it for less than what they're selling. 